Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about global colors and how to create them. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see I have my document here with a bunch of dots and now what we're going to do is explain what global colors are real quick. Uh, what global color is, it's just the ability to change a color of multiple objects that are the same color. Okay, so you could change, if you have multiple objects that are the same color, you go ahead and just change one color, like the color palette of that one object, and it'll change the color of all of them. Okay, and so let's demonstrate that with our new document. And so now how to create the global color in the first place is what you're going to do is you can go on your right hand side right here where it says swatches stroke brushes so you just can go to your swatch panel and then you're going to go to the right hand side with this uh icon that has the few lines and the dot next to it and hit add global color and what that will do it'll prompt you to name the color you want so just hit add you don't want to name it or anything and after that it'll just add your global color right here and as you can see right here where it says document, what that did is just created a new document palette. So this uh, color palette was is only going to be specific to this document. So if you make a new document and you won't have your color palette that you choose that's in this one in a new palette, in a new document, okay? So that's what this means. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just change this color, uh, you know, some of these dots, different colors, and then we're going to go ahead and use our global colors to see how it works okay so just change a few of these guys to the black that we have here to go ahead and change a few of these guys to the black and then what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and change one of these guys to red and if you want to add a color from your current selection to your your palette all you have to do is go to this option here it says add current color to palette as a global color and so now what you're going to do is go ahead and just select it to make sure it's that and then we're just going to add a few of these guys and we're also going to change some, we're going to select a few of these guys and change it to that red. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to see the power of our global colors right here. And you may be you may be wondering, okay, so that's cool. And all you, we created a global color palette, but what's the actual use of it? Well, I will show you. So let's say you want to change the color of all of these purple um, balls. And you don't have to select, and this is a cool thing, you don't even have to select all of them either. All you have to do is just go to your palette and then just double click on that purple color and all I have to do is just change that color and look at that shabam it just changes the color palette I mean it changes the color of all those objects without having to even select all of them individually it'll just do it you know and this is good like this is useful for your documents that are full of detail or full of objects they got to change the color of multiple objects but you don't want to like click each and every individual object to change its color like you want to say you want to say you want to change the color of all the same ones this is how what it's used for okay so this is pretty useful this is nice and awesome look at that now we go want to change the color of our black color double click on your color and then boom look at that yellow shaboom green Oh wow, so cool. That is awesome. That's what global colors are for. Shbam! Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. So I mean that's pretty much it to global colors. It's pretty much that simple. I just wanted to show you guys how to create, you know, global colors and how to use them really quick. So yeah, it's just a quick little tutorial because I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, so uh, I just did it, and I just want to show you guys as well. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.